All right then, gang. So now we've got the basics of React under control. I'd like to move on and start to create applications using a package called Create React App. And that is a command line tool to create full React applications. But why would I want to create a React app this way anyway? Well, so far we've only been using one component, right? And typically a website is made up of several different components and different pages. And we could create many different components the way we already have been doing and render them on different parts of our DOM and pages using the render method. And that would be fine for relatively small, simple projects. But as our app gets more complex with more pages and more components, a better way to do this would be with a robust development setup using Webpack and Babel. And that is going to supercharge our React app and allow us to do things that we wouldn't ordinarily do, like use a development server or use ES6 features, which are not normally supported in browsers out of the box. It also means we're going to be able to keep our code modular and easy to maintain. And it's going to give us access to build tools to create optimized lean code for deployment. Now, you might be thinking that creating this more robust workflow with Webpack and Babel sounds complex and not really worth the effort. But I promise you, creating this setup is actually seriously easy. All we need to do is run one command using the Create React App package, and that will take care of all of the configuration of Webpack and Babel in the background. And it's going to give us a basic React starter project so we can just start coding our app and using these features. So then Create React App was actually created and is maintained by Facebook and its surrounding community. And you can find its GitHub repo right here if you want to read more about it. And it also has a quick start guide right here on how we can use this uh, Create React App to create a project. And it's very simple, look, three steps. First of all, we say npx create React App my app. So this is the name that we give to our application, whatever we want to call it. This is Create React App, the tool that is going to create that application. And we're using NPX to run this package right here. OK, now we can only use NPX if we have Node.js 5.2 or higher installed on your computer. So you need to make sure that you have that version or higher on your computer. If you're not sure, just go to nodejs.org and download this version right here. This is the current version at the time of recording, 8.11.3. So download that and go through the installation steps. I'm not going to insult your intelligence by going through this because it's very easy to do. Just go through the installation steps and you'll have that installed on your computer. Then we can use this command right here, no problem. All right. So after that, you can see we CD, that means change directory into the directory, which was just created. And then we use NPM start to spin up a local development server and preview our application in the browser. All right. So let's use this thing right now to create a React application. So I'm just copying that and I'm going to go to this thing over here. I've already opened up a terminal. I press control T to do that, but your key bindings might be different. If you're unsure, just go to this settings cog down here, then go to keyboard shortcuts and just search for terminal like so. And in fact, if you say toggle again, then you'll see toggle integrated terminal. Mine is control T, but yours might be something else. All right. So I've opened up this. I'm in this directory right here, react redux complete, which is this folder that we've been working in so far, that there is the index file from previous lessons. But anyway, I'm going to create this project right here. So I'll just paste that in and npx create react app my app. I'm just going to delete the hyphen. So it's just my app. That's just my preference. Press enter. And this is going to create that application for you. So this will just take a couple of minutes and I'm going to see you after this is finished. All right, then. So once that's done, you're going to notice this folder created on the left, my app right there. I'm going to delete index.html because we don't need that anymore. So let's get rid of that. And if we expand my app, we're going to see these different folders. So first of all, node modules is just a folder of all the different dependencies that our React application needs. If you open that, there's going to be a shared load of other folders. You don't need to worry about those. They're third party dependencies. OK, so that's stuff that our React app needs to run. So don't worry too much about them. We don't need to go in there. Uh, this stuff right here in the public folder, this is the folder which is going to be served to the browser. So if we want the index file, that's going to get served from the public folder right here. OK, um, the package.json file down here that just keeps track 
of all of the different packages we have installed and this application depends on. We also have a package lock file which locks down the versions of the package that we're using. We have this source folder right here. Now this is where all of the stuff that we're actually going to be working on is going to sit. And I'm going to talk you through the files in this folder in the very next tutorial.